Hello, my lovely little weasels. It is me, your lovely host, with a gaming weasel mag and mag prime. A Warframe that I haven't touched in a decent while, at least for two months or so. And I decided to make a build by the request of some of you guys as well, and my interest of her, and also making a little video uh, with that I do need to play mag to, I guess, make that video sort of legitimate. So, mag, what is this all about? about well crowd controlling armor stripping basically invincibility to a certain degree we're using your shields uh, as i said nuking as well you basically have everything in this build that you will ever need inside of any steel path mission or just tile set in general the enemies do not matter this build is very good and we're only gonna change out the first ability but if you do not know what mag's abilities are we're gonna briefly go through them her passive is that enemies are passively drawn towards mag and they come towards her which is very bad but honestly let's just move on to the first ability which is pull mag falls in enemies and also polarized shorts now polarized shorts have something to do with her third ability and i'll talk about that in just a second but pull is going to be changed out for still breach search now breach search what is this basically going to be used for this is basically going to be used for blinding enemies because her survivability is decent but if you can in a way with breach surge a little bit of crowd controlling would not be bad you do also get a damage multiplier and a status chance increase on the of course breach surge doing radiation damage now that is dependent on your power strength but we will cover that when we get towards the build nonetheless moving on to magnetize mag second ability you tap this ability on the enemy it creates a little bubble every single projectile gets dragged into that bubble into the middle alongside the enemies as well and it does do blast the damage gives you a damage multiplier as well and it also drags in enemies that come near it which is very good because you can basically shoot this bubble and there's going to be a lot of projectiles flying inside there doing a lot of damage now this field also does pull poor Laura shards inside of the middle which it has to do with our third ability which we will get to but you can also hold your second ability and basically block every incoming projectile don't hold your ability honestly i've been trying to i guess if it makes sense but it doesn't really have that much of a purpose so just tap that magnetize polarizes her third ability she emits a pulse that depletes enemy shields and armor as well and the deliveries left over become these polarized shards now basically you come towards these little crystals right there and then you pick them up once you do a good combo with your second ability magnetize on an enemy me, these polarized shards are gonna go inside of there doing bleed damage which is going to be very good and they do explosion damage which is in of course magnetic so that is very good and crush is her fourth ability she basically crushes enemies and it also can do a pretty little interesting thing with a mod that is going to be very very helpful it does do magnetic damage as well it is dependent on the of course percentages of your power strength but you do also gain shields per hit so this is going to be very very good keep in mind we are basically going to be restoring shields with our fourth and our third ability because our third ability does restore our shields as well and and what we're going to be doing is armor stripping with our fourth and also our third ability our second ability is going to be our main crowd controlling ability alongside of course breach surge and these two are going to be very very good because you do gain two different damage multipliers which are of course additive which is very very good now with that we have covered that let's quickly brief over the weapons that i will be using i will be using the 10 Plasmor as my primary i love the 10 Plasmor. i have used this weapon many 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 times in many different game modes and with her it is simply incredible and alongside that i do have the prisma angstrom in cornin which does fire of course heat seeking projectiles when i do have a full video on that clicking the little eye up there is gonna 
show you that if you want that as well. And I used Anaconda Prime as my melee, but I wasn't really using my melee that much. Now, I think we all really want to see what that mag build looks like. Now, the mag build in question looks like this. What is going to be going on here is we have a little bit of power strength. We have mostly been focusing on range and a little bit of efficiency. Now, a couple of things. I do not have any Archon shorts on this Warframe in this build. Keep in mind, an awesome thing to actually put on her would be casting speed or even shields. But that is basically all she needs. With her abilities, power strength is not that important. You do need the damage multiplier, but honestly, those polarized shards with that slash damage and dual panzer Vopophila with synthy construct is going to be very, very good. Now, I will show you the Panzer Vopo file build because of Equilibrium. Equilibrium is going to give us 110% conversion rate when we pick up health and also energy orbs and giving us, of course, the other uh, one. So, this is going to be very good with Synth Deconstruct and the Panzer Vopo file because Synth Deconstruct procs a lot with her. And that's why we do not need Arcane Energizers in this build. Now, I do use Arcane Avenger. This is, in my opinion, a little bit of a flex slot. I have been testing out this. I've been testing out uh, Molt Efficiency, I have been testing out with Arcane Energize as well, seeing if uh, if it's going to be even better with that, but uh, I have been testing this out with a couple, honestly for me, Avenger seems to be the best one. Now, Rolling Guard is here for a little bit of survivability as well, as I said, we do gain shields with our forward and a third, but we do have Magnetized Discharge and Fracturing Crush. So, let's cover Magnetized Discharge. This is an augment for Magnetized and recasting on the target detonates it emits a of course a hit and a 50% chance to be disarmed of course the enemies and the passive is it gives you another 45% magnetized range now this is really really good I have been doing a lot of damage with this ability just because of all of the polarized shards that form inside of this and it is very very good because it also increases the range by 45% which is very very nice but fracturizing crush what is this is going to do is with of course our growing power augment and multi augmented actually proccing we're gonna have enough power strength to fully armor ship the enemies with fracturing crush this is a crush augment and you gain 50% casting speed which is very good and the armor of surviving enemies decreases by 75% and they are unable to move for 7 seconds now the good thing and the bad thing about this is the 75% is not the cap it can go even above that down to, as I said, 100%. But the bad thing is, so, uh, I have been seeing that polarize or sorry, not polarize, but magnetize doesn't seem to really drag these enemies in that get fracturized, crushed, I guess. But that could be just me and maybe just me misclicking a button or maybe doing something badly, but I'm not quite sure. But this has been mag. And of course, the Panzer profile build, actually, I forgot to mention that, is this one. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, keep the actual, uh, I guess, mod uh, road, uh, copy, basically copy my build to the T. Because it is dependent on which mod is first in which row. So the first mod in your left side is going to be the mod that is going to be proccing the most. So basically copy that build and you will get a lot of energy with this build. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment and do subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel over and out.